my channel in this video i just thought i'd give you a nice makeup routine that i do mostly every single day even when i'm not going anywhere i do this makeup and it takes me like 20 minutes it's really basic it's natural makeup it's not like crazy i've never done crazy so maybe i just take my time but i love doing my makeup it's like my time of the day i actually get excited to do my makeup and my hair but to do my makeup so i do my makeup right after i do my skincare i did my skincare earlier not on camera and then now i'm gonna do my makeup anyway if you're wondering where this top from it's from it is from romwe yes shop at Romney and then I have a jean skirt on you can't see it but that is from American Eagle what's new I'm gonna start and put my hair up okay no that's not how I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna just put it up I really never understand how to put my hair in a claw clip it takes me so freaking long to put my hair in a claw clip what what is that what is that anyway first I make sure my hair is all back behind my ears and the first thing i do after my skincare is i take this mini i got a mini because i can't afford a big one it's a mini marcuja tinted hydrator by tarte tarte is like one of my favorite makeup brands because it it's never bothered my skin at all i have really sensitive skin and it does not bother my skin at all i just kind of put it wherever i really want it's kind of like a foundation but it moisturizes your skin, which I think is really good. That was a lot. That was a lot. Okay, um, mm, mm. Then I just take my beauty blender. This is from Shoppers. And if you don't know what Shoppers is, it's a Canadian drugstore. So I just dab it. I don't drag it because, even though I just did that, I don't drag it because it's apparently not good to drag it don't listen to me i heard it somewhere by the way i'm not like a professional makeup artist or whatever so if you guys are like oh my god what is she doing just, just don't don't say anything i don't know what i'm doing anyway i've done makeup from a very young age i started makeup when i was like eight and my sister is 11 right now and she got into makeup too and i just think it's so cool how we just kind of us girls or boys we just kind of teach ourselves how to do makeup ourselves like nobody's really teaching us unless well i guess i watched a few youtube videos i literally taught myself and i think it's so unique and cool that people can do that and it's it's like art right on your face i just think it's so cool so after that i go in with my creaseless concealer by tarte i don't use the shape tape because i find it's too cakey and too much i use a lighter one and a cheaper version Anyway, so it's the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, and I got it in the shade Light. My skin is fairly light, I would say. I literally got a pimple right there. Oh my goodness gracious. Anyway, it's fine, it's fine. I take a bit, a little bit, and I put it on the blemishes that I think I should be covering. Like, I always tend to get zits up here. I don't know why. Not zits, blemishes. I tend to get them up in my hairline. I think it's because I sweat mostly up here just can oh my god i didn't even blend in all my tinted hydrator stuff in i literally go quick sometimes i don't know why i'm going quick for this video maybe because i'll run out of storage usually i don't go this quick i literally take my damn time but that's okay that is okay i do under the eye and i do on the nose and i do under the nose and up above my lip line and I do a bit here and a bit here. I don't really go on my eyelids just because I feel like it's just way too cakey. What? Somebody just added me. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Screw that. So then I pick up my hair. Oh my god, I got my hair. So I just do this and I do it lightly. And again, I don't drag my beauty thunder. I just do this. It literally is still there. Is this not gonna go away? I just go all where I put the concealer and I just blend it in really lightly and I don't drink. I'll be back when I'm done. I think that's good for now. So 
that was like my first layer of concealer and I usually do another couple layers but this time with the other final layers of concealer just to make sure it's fully covered because I am a perfectionist I take a tiny little brush from Sephora the brand is Sephora and I take my concealer and I put it back in the places that I did before like up here this little guy and Because when I blend with a brush, I find it blends way better than a beauty blender because I feel like the beauty blender is more like observing the makeup instead of just like blending it in. I just find using a brush helps a little better if you want that full coverage, you know? I think that is good for now. Just trying to see if I blended it all in. Yeah, I think I did. Next, I do my eyebrows. I am somebody who's really insecure about my eyebrows. You probably wouldn't think that would be something that people are insecure about. It's because right here, it's there's like no hairs, and then all of a sudden there's hairs down here, it's more filled in. And then this one's like perfect, I like this one. It's just this one, I'm just like, mm. When I tell you I've gone through so many eyebrow pencils, I have. I have tons of eyebrow pencils. So I finally found one that I, well, I kind of, I didn't find, like I stole it from my mom, but like same thing. It's a Brow Wiz Crayon. By Anastasia it's in the shade medium brown it has a little like what are these called spoolies I don't even know what these are called but it has one of these on this side and it has a crayon apparently on this side so I just put up the crayon a bit and I just lightly fill in where I want to fill in right here when I do it too dark does not look good the other day i went to my friend's house and i showed up with really perfect defined eyebrows and maybe you like that but it just it doesn't suit me it was like really dark too and my friend was like what happened to you like she's like are you olivia and i was like what they were so bad anyway little spiel on that okay so i'll, I'll be back when i'm done Peach Glow Highlighting Palette by Too Faced. Tarte and Too Faced is my favorite makeup brand. Anyway, I literally broke the highlighter. I dropped it and it smashed and I was actually crying. I'm, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I got highlighter, blush, and bronzer. So I take, first I do the bronzer. I don't know really why. I'm just, <laughs> what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure I have all the access of the concealer or whatever. Uh, I take this brush by the brand Sephora and I just do this and I take a good amount not a lot I don't like it being crazy I stuck my cheeks in and go like that and I make sure it's not too much because I don't like too much but I do it here I do it like a three I learned this by, from the Kardashians so you do like a three on your face like this and I go down on the jawline to make it more defined and i also kind of just like put it all over me because um i like looking very tan i think that looks good maybe a little more oh my goodness and i'll do the other side now and blush I love blush sometimes I go overboard with blush it looks like you're blushing and it's like cutesy and like you look more like girly girl I find when you have blush on so I put a lot of blush on because that is my goal sometimes I use the same brush I just use for my bronzer or I use another brush it's from the brand Sephora all my brushes are from the brand Sephora they're so cute they're purple this one's not purple anymore so I just make sure all the access that I want is off I take the middle middle color which is blush by the way Too Faced their peach collection it smells so good that is mostly why I use Too Faced look how cute I take it and I just kind of blotch it on blotch it just kind of like dab it right on there like this try to get as much as I can I usually use this one but sometimes when I want it to be a little bit more much let's say I'm going to a party or let's say like yeah 
let's say I'm going to a party. It's by um, Selena Gomez's Collection Rare Beauty. I also love this brand and it's in the shade Nearly Mauve. It's so pigmented. You have to put like a tiny bit on your cheek, but I don't usually use this. I usually use um, the Too Faced palette. So like I said, I just dab it and I just put it right on my cheekbone. And I smile as I do it just so I know I'm getting it all. And I go all the way down here. Got it, it's so pretty. And I go a little bit on my nose. And then I go on the other side. The next thing I do is I take, oh my God, it keeps falling on me. I take the broken highlighter, which I was really sad about. Doesn't really matter. I kind of just use my, my blush brush. I go like this, I put it on the side. And I go on my bone, like my bone. Like, when I do this, you can feel where your bone is. So just go along it like this. I just go like this on my bum. And I also put a little bit at the tip of my nose so it has a little reflection where the sun hits. And then I go down, down this, and on my, it's called Cupid's bow, on my Cupid's bow to give some reflection on my face. Next, my favorite product. This is my favorite product, no joke. It's my favorite product ever. When I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I hate myself, like you're ugly. I put this on and I just feel so good about myself. It's just crazy how makeup can just do that to you. My confidence boost just goes way up because I put mascara on. I recently discovered this mascara. I've been through so many mascaras. Me and my mom are always trying to look for a really good mascara. So finally, I found a really good one. It's literally from the drugstore. It's so cheap. It just does the wonders. If you have short eyelash, look how short my eyelashes are. Like, where are they? Where are they? Then get this mascara because it really does bring your lashes up. More curled than lengthwise, but it does definitely make them curl. So if you want curly ones. And then, I went to the drugstore a week later. So I was using this for so long, like every day to school and stuff. I go to the drugstore a week later. I've seen it on TikTok, so I've always wondered about it. Like, is it that good? Like, probably not. I don't trust anybody at this point. And I found the Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal Paris. My all-time favorite mascara I've ever got in my life. I got, got a lot of people on this and I wanna get you guys on it. So please, just trust me right now. If you have short eyelashes and you want them really long, not even curled, like just super long, it almost looks like you have fake lashes, please go get this. And then comment down below if you got it and how you like it because you'll thank me later. Go right up to the mirror, in this case, the camera, and I make sure that all my concealer's off I always end up having concealer like literally on my eyeball. You have to kind of like sit here for a while and like do it until you really see a good result. Look already, like this stuff is my bag. And you just kind of, I just kind of wiggle it. I start from the roots and then I kind of curl it. Look at that. And I also do the bottom lashes too. And I literally take a Q-tip because I always get it all up my eyelid. I saw TikTok. Only the hot girls get mascara all over their face. Let's look at the difference. Buy yourself one of these, girl. Buy yourself one of these. we have to wear masks all the time so it rubs off on my mask and it gets on my skin and then i break out the next day so i used to do like a lot of stuff with my lips i used to like outline it and then put color on it and then gloss i just put a tiny bit of gloss and i go between the glossy lip gloss and the the Too faced lip injection extreme lip gloss um the Too faced one the lip injection one burns me like it literally burns me and i always regret putting it on i usually just use the glossier one the shades literally just clear so i take a bit because a bit goes a long way with glossier i just put a little bit underneath and a little bit over top and then i just fill it in with the gloss and the stuff recommend this stuff too love it i just like the clear stuff because i like my my lips are naturally this color and i like them so i just use clear with all my lip glosses i just take a bit and i put on my lips all done this lip gloss is the best lip gloss ever i'm not even joking okay so that is my finished makeup look 
fuck? So simple. Oh my god, this is literally so messy. Jesus, I liked it better off. Okay, so that was my makeup routine. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that gives me more ideas of what kind of things to post. I loved filming this. It was really fun. I like talking to somebody while I do my makeup. I like clothes and I like makeup and I like doing my hair and like jewelry and stuff. So please let me know if you guys want any kind of videos like this because I would definitely film it right away. I'll see you babes later. Bye!